Hey friends, thanks for tuning in. Welcome to the channel, Wood Dig DIY. Today we are going to be rebuilding this tilt cylinder on the Massey Ferguson 50E. Um, I was working on this job and it decided to puke on me. So it's an older machine and yeah, you know, whenever you're working these older machines, you never know when they're gonna puke on you. This tilt cylinder's probably got 4,000 plus hours on it. So we're gonna go ahead and try to get that rebuilt today. Now I don't have all the proper tools to do this job, but I have rebuilt quite a few of them now. Um, I've rebuilt over half the cylinders on this machine and I just got some torch bottles and the gas filled up in case we gotta use the torch. And I have the seal kit Hopefully it's the right seal kit. It's really hard to get parts for the Massey Ferguson's, especially the older ones. So, all right, let's get into it. So the first thing you need to do when you're working on hydraulics is relieve all the pressure from the system. That way it doesn't inject you and cause serious injury. So this is the tilt, and this machine's all mechanical, so like some of the newer machines that are computerized, you might have to put the key in or turn the safety off to relieve the pressure, or there might be another way. You have to check out the owner's manual, but always relieve pressure on that. Just to be on the safe side, you can crack these hydraulic lines get them loose to where they're dripping a little bit and then go back and release the pressure again so as you can see this machine has giant cotter pins so it looks like it's gonna be pretty quick to get this off I don't have the proper vise to rebuild this machine or this uh, cylinder so it's gonna be a pain but I think I can make it work Normally, I just use the Batco pin right here so I can break loose the giant nut that's inside there. You guys will see later on in the video. You don't need anything crazy doing hydraulics. You might need a hydraulic wrench set. Um, they can be very useful if you're working in tight places, but normally if they're just open like this, you can just do it with regular crescent wrench or something like that the hardest thing with these older style cylinders right here is there's a little wire that comes out of there and if it's rusted solid it'll get stuck in there so it's really good to let it soak in PV blaster uh, overnight to let the rust break down and then heat it up with a torch and get it out that's how I rebuilt this one right here. This one almost wasn't worth rebuilding. I'm up in Northern California and the wire was stuck in there and I could not get it out. So I literally, I had to let it sit for, what was it? Two or three days. It was a while ago and I rebuilt that, but I let it sit for two or three days in PV blaster just soaking the whole cylinder then I heated it up with a torch and I was able to use a little pick to get the wire out they it looked like they just used some fencing wire and it wasn't anything special for like hydraulic so it's really hard to get out so hopefully this one has the proper hydraulic wire in it and it should come out a lot easier also the little hole that the wire goes into sometimes they're facing up so the water can get in them if that's the case uh, you're gonna have a heck of a time getting that thing off I actually called several machine shops locally. I even called the Bay Area and the cheapest quote I could get to rebuild this cylinder with that wire stuck in there was $3,800. So it would have been cheaper just to buy a whole new unit. But since this is a Massey Ferguson, all the sizes were kind of funky. I couldn't find a universal cylinder and I wanted the pressure to match the other cylinder. That way it's not, you know, bending this bucket attachment right here so I went ahead and just rebuilt this otherwise I was gonna have to buy two cylinders and then 
figure out how to make them fit on there. And they're also very skinny. They go right by each other like this. It's like some custom Massey Ferguson thing. I could understand why some people don't like Massey Ferguson style. But this machine has the Perkins diesel in it and it's you know it's one of the best diesels they made. This thing is so efficient. I can run it all day long. I'm not super hard on it. Maybe maybe take five gallons of diesel, five, six gallons of diesel. I could probably if I ran it real hard at you know almost redlining for eight hours, I might take it might take eight gallons of diesel, but it's almost eighty horsepower, so I'm gonna keep working on the machine and keep working it and hopefully I can keep sourcing parts for it. So far I've been able to order parts from random websites online and keep this thing alive. Okay, we're gonna get into it. Let's go ahead and bleed these lines out right here.
guess that's usually where the contaminants are. rebuilding this thing. We will be back. Okay, YouTube, we are. We're gonna try to tap this with the hammer. See if it'll break the rust apart before I go for it. Okay, finally have the right wrench and it's not working. All right, let's go get the torch.
soft metal, they rust. locks in there and then you just you go uh counterclockwise stuck it back in Happy that makes me that last cylinder I did. It took me three days to get that out. Just letting it soak and heat it up with the torch. I had to chisel off this whole thing. So I, I didn't have the right tools. I didn't have a big crescent wrench. And I used a pipe wrench and boogered it up. And I didn't heat it up with the torch, so I definitely learned a lesson. <sighs> can see but this outer outer seals toast usually the gland seals on the inside right there there's a gland seal in there those are usually what makes it leak this one's actually not bad just this outer this outer seal was Causing it to puke on me every time I would go forwards and tilt and come back, it would puke all over because this outer wasn't even doing anything. Thank God for eBay because if it wasn't for eBay, I don't know what I would do for seals for this thing. 
I gotta order a seal catalog. I'm just I'm not that good at measuring them, and I'd hate to measure the wrong size and have it not be at, and have to order another kit or another seal and have my machine broke down on some job for God knows how long. Always try to save these seals because you never know if they give you the wrong ones. Hi, um, my name's Chris. I was wondering if you guys have um, like hydraulic seals. Hydraulic stuff. what? Hydraulic seals for like cylinders. Uh, we, we do. Um, it matters on if you're looking for a kit or individual. Okay. Um, I'm kind of in a jam. I I got a kit and it only came with half the stuff, and uh, it's not like a cat. So, I was wondering if I came uh, down no. there, if, if I could bring the seals and maybe, there's one seal, it's just the uh, O-ring that I really need, I'm sure you guys would have that, but I don't know about the other ones, um, I need like the ones that, yeah. that glide in the cylinder. We might not we might not have them just in the case of the matter of it not being a cat um but we can try to match them up as best as we can for you yeah the the seals that i need are pretty standard so i think you guys might have them like the ones that rub on the cylinder to keep them centered uh i forget the name of them and then i need a, just like a regular o-ring um yeah if you if you, if you bring them in we can match them up and, and normally if we don't have them we can have them in a day okay perfect i uh, appreciate it not a problem. Thank you. All right. We are missing some seals, so I have to go try to find some seals tomorrow. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
We are running out of time, YouTube. Okay, I'm gonna put this gland seal in here. Okay, so we gotta have this tool. that one now I'm going to back this up with some sealant because there's this little tiny bit of rust in there that I can't get and it's pretty smooth might have grease all over this but I have to put some sealant in there so make sure it's nice and even okay we got the gland going to the outside and we just pop it in there like that, it'll go in by itself. Uh, oh, I almost hit the guy, didn't I? Okay, I'm gonna wipe off this excess uh, TV sword. it apart for this guy. seals i gotta go source some seals tomorrow hopefully somebody can help me okay youtube we are back i got some seals hopefully they work this one's from cat it's a real big I had to order another seal kit. Uh, they sent me the wrong one, so it's really hard to get parts for this tractor. I have to, most of the part numbers I have to cross reference with a different tractor. It doesn't even match up, but then I get the seal kit and it works. But I got lucky on like three seal kits in a row, so can't win them all. So I ordered another one for a Massey Ferguson 50. H and the rod and bore is the same dimension so it should be should work I think we'll see okay sucks I have to reuse this but I gotta get the cylinder back on because I have one more day at work to finish this job and my machine broke so that kind of sucks oh well it is what it is it's part of running your own business I'll just use some motor oil, but I don't have enough time to get all set up. 
should clean this seal out a little better too. Hopefully this seal is not too tight. as careful as I can. Sadly, I'm going to have to reuse these seals right here. Not ideal. I have to rebuild this thing again, I guess. They chased all the machinists out of California, so it's real hard to get cylinders rebuilt here unless if you have a caterpillar or bobcat or something. Uh, you can get the dealers to do them for you. They still charge a lot of money. So I just do my own maintenance. I try to at least that way I can still uh, be somewhat affordable for people in this economy here nowadays. like that and this thing I stretched out a little bit I think when I took it off because I thought I had a new one so you might want to be careful when you mess with these things hopefully it'll stay in place looks like it might be lucky enough to stay in there if not to tear it apart again I'll stay in it. Pretty good there, right? Okay. Move this stuff up. I really like spray on lithium grease, but man, it's 12 bucks for that bottle in California. It's crazy. Okay, so these are all nice and lubed up. Now we go to clean the cylinder.
so water can't get in there and rust this out so it makes it really hard to get these off when they get rusted really hard all right we went past the mark